Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radsko Tarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising weekly tarot reading July 9 to July 15, 2018. Before we start guys, I want to remind you that the monthly readings are already out at my channel so feel free to go there and check them out and as well if you want to get even deeper understanding of your month uh, you can purchase the extended tarot reading for just as little as $1 at my website in the section extended monthly tarot readings and uh, in there you're gonna find the stars signs specifically career and relationship that can be added to the general tarot reading that you can find for free. That set aside now let's see what the Libra is going to deal with during the week and we do have a winner here with the Ace of Cups falling into a position of a general theme for the end topic for the week. Then we do have the core of the situation that is going to be the strength card. Very peculiar by the way. Uh, then we do have the Three of Cups as a uh, challenge that the Libra needs to overcome. And last but not least, we do have the Guidance that is going to be the King of Swords. Alright, so um, <clears throat> this is a, a very hard reading, alright, because um, I, I will say that the card doesn't make much sense when they read together. Um, <clears throat> In a sense of that, uh, that there are topics which are covering one another, all right? But the general topic is going to be the Ace of Cups, and that speaks that you, Libra, are going to experience something tremendous during the week, something that is going to make ongoing problems that you are facing, maybe with, uh, with your work, or maybe with your relationship, or with your family, etc., etc. In general, these kind of domestic problems that everybody has, they will become totally irrelevant for you, because uh, this new Thing that you're going to experience during that uh, week, it could be the new love you have waited, it could be the proposition for your job, for a new job that you have also waited, etc., etc., will be something that actually, as I said, is going to make all those issues irrelevant for your well-being moving on forward into the future. And the core of the situation here is the strength card, which points that uh, you have actually showed the um, the readiness to uh, to throw yourself into this activity that is presented to you uh, which you are gonna find exciting and tremendous. The strength card guys it is a, about the passion one is ready to invest alright so I think that you have been watched and you have been analyzed until now from a new boss for example, or from your boss or from a person that kind of has an interest in you, etc, etc. So you have been watched and finally you have been approached as well uh, during that particular week. And the strength card also points that these people find in you that sense of dignity and that sense of sovereignty that they kind of value the most in people. So they don't see a fool in you, alright? But... We do have also the Three of Cups, which points to a, a challenge. You are not going to find very easy to work with them, either for a relationship or either for a career purposes. The Three of, uh, the three of Cups points that there will be a, a miss uh, in that position points that there will be a mismatch in, 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 in the vision of both, or of both, uh, of both of you, excuse me. So in other words, um, not the entire vision, all right, but maybe the means that uh, everybody is ready to do or ready to execute, etc., etc. But these kind of set, uh, setbacks, you know, these kind of um, not misunderstandings, but let's say differences can and should be overcome. Uh, the, the Three of Cups also, if we relate that to relationship as a challenge point, it's it, it going to be very challenging to open yourself for the person who approaches you in case this is a, a uh, this is a, a new love that comes in your way, all right? So uh, whatever the challenge is for you, either building up a team with that person or building up a relationship with this person because you're finding yourself either emotionally connected yet to another guy or a girl, or simply you're finding it very hard to emotionally um, overcome uh, that particular engagement. 
you need to kind of consult yourself with somebody. Now that guidance card points to another person who is not romantically or professionally involved with you. That could be your therapist, it could be your mentor, it could be your very good friend, all right? But the bottom line here is, is that this person very well understands what you are going through. This person very well knows what you need to do because they have been there, all right? And uh, they are gonna give you that advice you need. Do you know why? Because they fully take responsibilities for their words and they stand behind their words as well, all right? Very wise, very trusted and also uh, a person with respect, all right? The society look at that person as uh, with a, a great respect and they are capable to push things through so they definitely know what they're talking about. And uh, probably they will tell you, what are you doing, girl? Or what are you doing, guy? Just just do what you think is best for you. Just do something to make yourself happy, you know? Even if you right now face a certain blockage either to make a, um, a pact or either to open yourself emotionally, that blockage have to be has to be overcome because it cannot go forever. So that being said, Libras, this was your um, weekly tarot reading for July 9th to July 15th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.